Hi everyone, welcome back to our Kubernetes lab series. So far we have solved eight questions and these questions are really important and will help you to get good marks in CK exam. We are going to solve many questions through this series and 90% or maybe more than that, they will come for sure in the exam. So I suggest you to keep practice it and before the exam, please do watch all these videos and do a hands-on. Don't just watch it, also write down the commands and do the hands-on for all these questions. This will really help you to clear the exam and let us know how your exam went and did these questions come in the exam or not so let us go ahead and solve the next questions next question is question number nine and the weightage of this question is seven percent the question is use json path query to retrieve the os images of all the nodes and store it in a file and the file name is all nodes os info.txt and this should be stored at root location so what we need to do is we need to get os images of all the nodes that is present in the cluster and then store those in a text file and there is a node as well the os images are in the node info section under the status of each node this will help us to walk through the hierarchy as i have suggested before you need to keep open the cheat sheet so we are going to use the cheat sheet so here in the cheat sheet as you can see we have a kubectl command kubectl get nodes hyphen or json path and we are getting the items and their status and in this particular example we are trying to get the addresses that is external ip under status so we are going to use this example let us go ahead on killer coda so i'm going to use this path but before that let us just go ahead and check what is the output of this so you will get the output of this command kubectl get nodes hyphen o json let me just zoom it a bit kubectl get nodes hyphen o json so this has given us the output in json format and here is item and then under this we have status as per this cheat sheet we were getting external ip address so we don't want external ip address rather we want os images so we just need to look inside status and get os images so here under status we have node info and under that we will have os images so here is the os image so we need to get this output and store it in a file so now we know the whole path i'm simply going to use the command kubectl get nodes hyphen o json path because we need to use json query and under item we have status and under node info we have os image so with this hierarchy you can get any information within the output of this whole command let us see the file name all nodes os info.txt all nodes info.txt I'm just going to hit enter and let us check the output if we have got the right output. I'm just doing CAD on this file. And as you can see, we have obtained the OS info of the node. And here it is Ubuntu 20.04. And this was present here under the node info. So here under the node info, we have OS image Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. So we are done with this question. Let us move on to the next one. Next question is question number 10. And the weightage of this question is 4% because this is a simple one. We just need to create a persistent volume. The question is create a persistent volume with the given specification and following are the specification volume name PV demo storage should be 100 MB and access mode should be read write many host path should be slash PV slash host data. So let us clear the screen and let us open the documentation in a new tab within this we'll just search for persistent volume. So persistent volume is something which you cannot create with imperative command that is kubectl command or yml content and accordingly create a yml file and edit it as per the given specification. I'm just opening the persistent volume documentation. So here's an example of persistent volume. The kind is persistent volume and we have storage as well and we have access modes and we can find the host path in some other example. So we can copy from here. We can just look for host path and its syntax. So here is the example of host path. I will just copy this and will create a my persistent volume dot yml. Let us check if it has to be given some other name. So there is no name to the file, but here is the name of the volume PV demo. So let me just give it the name PV demo, PV demo dot yml. And inside it, we are just going to put the content. The name should be PV demo. Capacity should be 100 mi and access mode should be read write many. So we have read write many and the host path should be pv slash host slash data and just change the host path it should be host slash a uh, host hyphen data so this is it i just need to save this and let us just check this once okay this looks good now we just need to apply it so kubectl apply hyphen f pv demo dot yml it says pv demo created so let us go ahead and check this kubectl get pv and as you can see status is available and it has been created so we are done with question number 10 please remember while creating persistent volume there will be a question for sure about persistent 
volume. So I suggest you to practice the syntax of creating persistent volume. Go through the example in the documentation, find the required specification and copy it in your YML file and then create it accordingly because imperative command will not help you to create it to write your own YML file. So let us go ahead and go through the question number 11. This has the percentage 7%. This kind of question can also be there for sure. It is also an important question. There is a worker node, node 01, which is not responding. We need to debug this issue and fix it. So we are back on our control plane. Please note that while switching to different question in the exam, you will need to switch to different context the Kubernetes context I'm talking about. So it will be given in the exam. So just make sure you are switching the context as per given in the exam. If you are not switching it, then you will end up doing the question in the wrong context or you will not be able to do it at all because resources will not be available in other context. Please make sure you are on the right context and you are also on the right node or control plane. If question is you should go to a node by doing SSH. Otherwise be on the control plane. Let us go ahead and solve this one. So we are on the control plane since node 01 is not responding. So let us see status of all the nodes kubectl get nodes. And as you can see, since this is a killer coda playground, it is saying node 01 is ready, but we need to check because this is a ready-made playground. So it will be always available, but in the exam, it might not be available as per the given scenario, but we need to check and see what's there in the node 01. So we need to go inside node 01 by doing SSH. So I'm doing SSH to node 01 and as you can see, I'm inside node 01. Now, as you know, each node has kubelet running. So kubelet should be responding. If a node is not responding or it is not in available state, that simply means the kubelet is not working and there may be some network unreachability. First of all, we are able to SSH into this node. That means the network reachability is there, which is why we are able to do SSH. Now, the second option is kubelet might not be running or it has some issue. So let us go ahead and check if kubelet is running. PS Augs, crap, kubelet. And as you can see, kubelet is not running. Let us do journal CTL hyphen XE to see uh, the error. Okay, we have exit code and it says kubelet service failed with result exit code. So since kubelet is not running, let us see its configuration. So it should be available in etc kubelet and kubelet.conf. So this is the file. Let us inside it and check it. PI etc kubernetes kubelet.conf. And here, let us see. The API version is looks good. That is V1. The cluster authority is there. Uh, the server details is also there. Name is default cluster. Context is there. Things looks good. Client certificate is where kubelet. This is wrong because it should be where lib. As you can see, the client key is also where lib. So the client certificate should also be where slash lib. We will verify that also, but let us just fix this where lib. So I'm just copying this path and this PAM file should be available. I'm saving this file and exiting. Let us check if the path is correct. Yes, the path is correct now. Previously, it was wrong. We have fixed this. Now we can do system CTL restart kubelet. Okay, now it should be running. Let us see PS aux crap kubelet. And as you can see, now the kubelet is running. Now you can exit and check kubectl get nodes and it should show the node 01 in ready state. In this particular case, it was already in ready state before as well, even though kubelet was not running because this is a killer coda playground, but the exam playground will not be exactly same as this. So there you will actually see the issue. This is just a recreation of that scenario. So far we have done three more questions and total question we have covered is 11 questions. We are increasing the complexity of the questions slowly. Once we are done with all these questions, we also have a video already available on my YouTube channel about CK exam tips. So you must go through that video before attempting the exam. And as I suggest you, please watch these videos two, three times before attempting the exam because this is really going to help you to do good in the exam because time will be very limited and you should practice and you should know all these commands thoroughly. So hope this helps. Please let us know your experience. If you have any doubt, please do ask in comment section. Thank you.